Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, now. Remember on the previous uh, tutorial, I showed you how to wash a hand knit 100% wool. And this is uh, knit with 100% uh, rabbit fiber. <laughs> and uh, I do have the process. I did, did share the tutorials with you guys. So this is for you, UK. <laughs> I'm going to brush it. It's not totally dried. Yeah, today's Thursday, so I'm planning. Today's sunny. To, they're saying that Sunday it's going to snow, so I thought today is 9 degree plus. I should have it outdoors because it's pretty nice. It's not that hot, hot. I wish it was in the summer. So if you want to order, please order it in the summer so I can dry it under the sun. And it gives a more fluffy, more, you know, under the sun, natural sun. Because uh, this dried where the furnace was I had to lay it dry because it did not work in my tub um, so I had it let it dry laid it laid it off on the rack here the clothes rack it's not totally dry it's still wet not that soaking wet but it's uh, it's not that bad so I am outdoors you might not hear my voice so I'm going to show you how to brush it you need to brush it very aggressive and I have problems with my wrist, so I'm going to ask my husband on the weekend to brush it. Because, you know, they have, a, they have stronger, uh, they're stronger than us, right, females? Okay. And I just wanted to point out over there how I did the knitting, double knitting method. And it's not, it's not longer. Can you see here? That's what I worked on. And it gives you this nice, nice straight height. It's, this part is not longer because I did the double knitting method. And I would highly recommend you to check that out my tutorials, how to knit double knitting. So I'm just going to show you a little bit because, uh, like I said, uh, I have problems with my wrist. So uh, just to show you, this is how it looks before I brush. So I'm going to go and uh, slowly, slowly start to brush it okay this is the brush if you can find a bigger brush that would be great this is the bit I bristle not bristle it's called a bristle 100% bristle and uh, there are bigger ones that you can purchase it from but uh, I bought this from Walmart Okay, so I'm going to start brushing it and just want to show you close up, close up, close up look. Yeah, I live on the corner lot, so it's there's lots of cars. Oh, my wrist started to hurt even. I had to rest for a couple of days. Can you see? Can you? This is what we're aiming for. The fluffy the fuzzy so you need to keep on brushing like this and this is the inside you can brush the inside as well it will be the same because it's knit with a uh, hand spun natural uh, angora rabbit fibers that I have hand spun see this is nice right but here you can see that it's not that fuzzy but you need to work on it keep on brushing keep on brushing just like this keep on brushing Ooh. can you see the <laughs> it already shows a big difference Some are coming on the brush. Again, it's not 100% dried yet. See, I can feel it. It's still wet. So, uh, UK, I'm planning to ship this on Monday. By by then, I hopefully it will be dried. That's why I don't wash my handmade items because I live in Canada and it's always cold here, and uh, it's really hard to dry. 
when you wash them because I wash them by hand and I don't agitate I don't twist because you know because of the felting I'm scared that it's going to felt so I'll just work on this area to show you so this is what I do I heard that some people lift it up like this I used to uh, knit and sell to uh, America USA and the gentleman told me to brush it but I said I don't have time to do that right this is all time consuming see how it gets fluffy and fuzzy so uh, I'll just work on one area so keep on brushing try to lift it up like this you can put this on your lap and then watch a movie and you can do that as well like I said this is a technique a very time-consuming technique it's time consuming and the fiber is expensive and really hard to find if you find it grab it if you're a knitter yeah, let me just focus on one spot so show you the difference before and after so you keep on brushing see So this is how you brush. You can do this on alpaca as well, baby alpaca. I, I think it would probably work nicely. So you keep on brushing. It's a lot of work and you need to press it hard. Okay, so I will let you guys go. So UK, when you receive your uh, winter coat you can brush it like this just put it on your lap and get one of these I don't know in UK if there's a Walmart or not but I'm sure even a pharmacy you can find this uh, it doesn't have to be this brand just need to be a brush like this yeah something like this to brush right that's what you're looking for okay and uh, you can continue brushing But like I said, it's still wet. It's not totally dry, so I will let it dry here. And when it's uh, night here, I'll pull it back because it's going to go to minus 6, I believe. So I don't want it because it's still water in it, right? I don't want it to froze or anything. <laughs> if you live in a cold weather like here, do it at different angle angles as well. Just continue to brush. See? This is nice. I can reuse this because <laughs> it's a rabbit you can do it like this as well so I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful for you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting happy crochet and don't forget to hit that notification button. Every time I post a new video, you will be notified. So don't be shy. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.